Okay, so hey guys, Shamar Castilt here. Welcome back to another episode of Other Hobbies Valentine's Day edition. Yes, yeah, so today we're going to be making some chocolate chip cookies for the first time, and I'm going to be giving them to my Valentine. Kinda. Not really, because of COVID. I can't give it to her, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, let's just get right into it. And then we have the chocolate. Granted, it's gonna turn into chips. I just don't have money for chocolate chips. But it goes the same way. Hey man, put this to the side. I think that can work. That's about three cups, right? Yeah. So you can pour it in. Salt of a teaspoon on it. No, one teaspoon of salt and then one teaspoon of baking soda. This is gonna be a little teaspoon right here. Mm. It's kinda just eyeballing it sometimes, but that look yeah, that look good. Yeah, put it in there. Yeah. Spoon of the baking soda. Oh, Shanti can't open that baking, baking soda. Ah, you got boom. Uh huh. So, just one teaspoon. Not too much. That looks like a lot, but. but. Alright, yeah, that can work, I think. And now, uh, half teaspoon of baking soda. Baking powder. Where is it? I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to wait, wait, I'll wait. Oh, alright, you know, we're just gonna use that. Alright, so that's it for the dry ingredients. Mix it around now. Alright, so now this oil can just set it to the side, so I guess, let's put it over here. Put it over here. Put it over where? Put it, put it over, over here. here. So now we're going to start putting in this. We need one cup. Tell me, which one cup? Mm -hmm. One cup. Oh! Mm -mm. It's one and a half. All right, cool. Shed there. Now we have the white sugar, the grace white sugar. One cup at the same way. Zoom in again. The more you zoom in, the farther out back you can go. I think, yeah, that's a, that's, that should be good. That should be nice. All right, so. I'm gonna sprinkle this in on top. Yeah, man. Let me start by mixing this around. Ooh. And we'll, we'll put these in the microwave to get them soft already. The butter. That's one stick of butter, AKA one, one cup. This is what I hate now. <laughs> Look at this. Uh -oh. This is nice. So should I melt it more? Mm -hmm. Look at this now. Uh. So this part was supposed to be done with an electric mixer, but we don't own an electric mixer. So it resulted in me having to use my hands, guys. My hands. So I'm just gonna use my hands, guys, because it's gonna take up way too much time. I'm doing the overhead shot. It's looking something like what it's supposed to look like though. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so it's looking it's looking better, it's looking good, it's looking kinda ready. I'm gonna just try and get out the rest of this. This don't feel too good in my hands right No, my hands just feel messy. But we gotta do what we gotta do because we don't have an electric an electric mix so. So this this will have to work. This will have to work. So that look good. That look good. Ooh. 
Some eggshell cutting. gets fluffy by the way guys the link as usual to the recipe that we're using is in the description box below so check it out and you can send me a DM on Instagram or on Twitter showing me how your cookies turned out big up to Marlon Christopher doing that the last time so now this is the thing now you know it takes up so much time I think I should just time up see. So I'll do I'll probably just speed up the kit. It smells like porridge. It's probably the vanilla. So alright guys, because this is gonna take so long to make sure to get fluffy, um, I'm just gonna time that it. Alright, so now we have the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients and it's time to combine them. So Shanti, let's go. gets really really thick now it's at this point <laughs> look at that Shante. I think in the meantime we're gonna start deal with the chocolate chips because the chocolate chips are the last thing to go in the butter so Shanti's gonna do that and then we're gonna catch you guys back once <laughs> once and then we're gonna catch you guys back once we have the chocolate chips ready so. oh boy all right guys so this is the progress Shante managed to do that I managed to chip up the I'm going to chip them. I managed to cut up the chocolate chips just enough, but why? I think because we you we don't have a like an electric mixer and we only have this whisk and have to oh no the whisk just broke. What? Oh the whisk, no! It just broke. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> it keeps spraying out. Oh boy. Well, this isn't good. Cook is gone, gone, gone wrong. <laughs> oh, it's not cooperating at all. And I think, I think it's mixed around all right too. It's a whole mess, guys. Oh, see that? It's it's like flipping out. But I'm trying to mimic. Uh, this is exactly how it's supposed to look, though. It's so hard. This is not easy. I think that's why Shante gave up. The chocolate smells good. Of course the chocolate would smell nice. Yeah, one time I did make these, um, but like, we just never have the chocolate chips. I weren't thinking as innovatively. I figured I'd use my hands to make this a little easier, but <laughs> by no means was this made easier with me using my hands. But it looks mixed around properly, right? Mm -hmm. It looks thoroughly mixed to me, you know, because I don't see any flour or anything like that. So, without further ado, we got a good close up right of these chocolate chips that we made ourselves. I'm going to drop them in. I don't want to crush them up too much, but i got to just kind of try my best to integrate them in to the mixture as best as I can. With my hands. Well, if I get raw right now, and I guess start using my hand because the, the mixer mash up. I can't believe this. So, this is what we have so far now. And I think this is where I'm going to stop it. So, now we're going to start putting them onto the tray. Stepping up. First time we're using the parchment paper. It's. I'm not sure how to use it. Not sure how to I use think it. it's okay if it overlaps. Oh. I guess. Now I'll get the. Oil. To kind of oil it. Let you guys know what's up. Ooh, this is a whole cup full. Zoom in on that. Zoom in on that. It's a whole cup full. Zoom out, huh? I'm just gonna. I think this is how it's supposed to be done. I'll just spread it over the paper. Alright, so that done, that good. Time to get the thingy 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 thing. Alright, so. We have to start at the show, the cookie butter. So, this is what we're gonna do. I think the recipe said about two to three tea, tea, um, tablespoons. Yeah, I think this is good. I saw it must look. 
I don't think you can just put it in there. So I think I'll flat it out, right? No, no, no! Oh, don't flat it out? Then it's going to spread even more. Oh, oh, oh. okay, so this should be good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, once it's all kind of nice, so we gotta roll it up into like a ball. Yeah. And then just put it down right there. Just like that. Looks nice. Some bigger than some. <laughs> oh, I think this might be too big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take out like a half of it. Drop it right there. It's a little close, but it can work. Well, I don't know. I guess this is just how it's going to look. Zoom in on it, man. I guess that's just how it's going to have to look. All right, couple more. I don't think you should put them so close to so each other. So close? Because they're going to spread out eventually. Oh, I don't even know if this is how it's supposed to look. Zoom in on this, make them sick as... I mean, look at it. Jeez, I'm gonna drop that there. Oh, wait. Wait. I'm gonna put this here instead. And then make space for one more to come right there. You know what? This will have to do, you know, guys. So that's how it looks, and we're gonna put them into the baking oven right now. Well guys, now we wait and I think we're going to be, nah, I don't want to travel. Mm -hmm. Definitely travel. But yeah, now we're gonna wait eight to ten minutes. So while it's baking, I want to take the time out to remind you guys to like the video if you're still watching at this point and make sure to subscribe if you're not already and yeah, let's get it to it. <laughs> so update ten minutes later, this is what we're looking at. Guys, I don't think we I think they were too big. <laughs> They're too big, but look at that one. That one over there is a triangle and it looks like a heart. So Valentine's Day is for real. So now we need to make them cool. We just took them out of the oven. Now we need to make them cool because they're soft. Like they're soft to the touch. So when they're cool, that is really when they get tough and then the party begins. We're just gonna allow them to cool a little bit longer and kind of get tough. They are getting tougher the more we wait. Um, the edges are definitely tough, but I want them to get kind of crispy. They're still soft, like in the middle part, especially this one. They're soft in the middle part. This is the hard one. I like it. I think it's definitely a Valentine's Day cookie. This one as well, and. Uh, this one I think is the perf is the most perfect shaped one to be honest. But as I said, we're gonna make them cool. I'm gonna have to break this one in two because this, they joined. But and this one too, crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna make them cool. Catch you in the back when them cool. So we'll let them sit for an hour. Gotta cut them up now because they got really clumped up. So I'm especially needs it. Oh no, it's breaking. Right. Oh. Okay, this is gonna get a little bit more than I thought. I'm gonna get the plate. I'm gonna roll with this plate right here. Start taking them out and putting them in there. And trying not to break them up too much. They're just really soft. Oh no, the heart one is breaking up. All right, 
right, so this is what we're working with right now, you know. Um, please remember, I'm not a baker. Alright, so this is how they turned out as hold up. This is how they turned out. Can point it here as well, but you can see the little chocolate. The little piece of chocolate. Right here. So I don't know why they turned out so broke up, broke up, but then that is over here washing. So that's looking nice in the background. But I'm gonna just give it a taste test. Three, two, one. Why not? It tastes like dough. I was eating the dough before. It tastes like the same thing. It tastes like the dough? Like a dough cook? Mm -hmm. We have a big plate here. Um, anyway. We should have made it to jumbo. Okay. Yeah, they come out really big. They turn out really, really big. Well, same thing. Anyway, this isn't for her anyways, but it's really for the Valentine. So I have this way. It's a it's a heart shaped it's a heart shaped cookie. That looks no 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 it's <laughs> no it's heart shaped. Subscribe to Shamar Crossfield. Best believe, best believe. I think you want me to do it? Yeah. I already did. It don't taste good. Really? Yeah, no, yeah, it don't taste good. So that's it for the dry ingredients. Mix it around now. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs>